What's going on everyone? I'm Alex and today we are taking a look at the Meizu M2 Note. Let's begin. Alright, so I have the Meizu M2 Note right here. Even though it's uh, made of plastic, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Uh, it doesn't feel that cheap and this is a cheap device. It's uh, about 150, 170 US dollars. Depends uh, where you buy it, when you buy it. I'm quite impressed with this phone. I had the Meizu MX4 Pro before and uh, that was a piece of garbage. Like, literally, it was a piece of garbage. You couldn't text, you couldn't talk, you couldn't use the operating system. It was just horrible. This one, however, it's much improved and considering this is like three times cheaper than that, it's quite surprising. So, this is running Android 5.1, so on top of that we have uh, Flame or whatever they call this uh, thingy. So it's uh, Flamey OS 4.5, whatever that means. This phone has 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, an octagon processor, the camera on the front uh, right here it's a 5 megapixel camera and the one on the back here it's a 13 megapixel camera. I'm quite impressed with this uh, camera, you can check out the video's description for uh, pictures. But let's uh, first take a look at the screen, let me set the brightness all the way. You can actually see the screen outside in any sun uh, sunlight, so it's, it's an awesome screen. Like, it looks really, 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 really good. Like, the viewing angles are excellent from any any angle you actually look. So that it's that's like awesome. This is an awesome phone. All right, but uh, it's not all good. Don't imagine it's all good. The flame here uh, doesn't exactly let you run certain apps and uh, the Google apps are a bit difficult to to use for example I cannot use Gmail on this uh, phone for some reason I get an error and uh, no email loads on the MX4 Pro that I had before I couldn't uh, use the G Plus and uh, Google Now so at least on this one uh, those work but there are some Google services that uh, don't work uh, I'm using this uh, mailbox uh, thing instead of uh, Gmail, it's not great because uh, for some reason the notifications don't show up, so you can go 3 hours, 5 hours, whatever and uh, you have no emails and then you go in your email and all of a sudden you have 10 emails. So that is an issue. Also the Hangouts here which I use as a SMS app and uh, for Hangouts, um, well it doesn't always show the notifications. All of a sudden it's like two hours gone by, nothing. You go in the Hangouts app, you have like five messages. So there are a couple of uh, issues with this uh, phone, but it's much, much improved uh, than uh, the last flamey bullshit that they have. I wish this would have like pure vanilla Android, that would be awesome, but it's not. All right, so size-wise, I have my Elephone P7000 here. So as you can see, the maze is a bit smaller, and the screen quality is a hundred times better than the Elephone. And the Elephone isn't bad uh, either. All right, so let me show you around uh, the storage here. So you have about 10 gigs available. I'm using uh, quite a bit because I have a few apps installed, but you do get about uh, 10 gigs. Uh, the SIM card uh, goes right in here, supposedly it takes two SIM cards, but you can actually use one SIM card and an SD card in the same time, so you can really use two SIM cards. However, not everyone needs two SIM cards, but uh, you have to give one uh, up anyways. The Antutu score is not the uh, greatest there, but this phone uh, works excellent, I mean I had absolutely no issues with it, no freezing, it's never slow, so I'm pretty happy with the, with the score that it got. Here we can see the processor, the RAM, the screen uh, resolution, the megapixels on the camera, and so on. The GPS test. We are inside the house right now, it may take a bit uh, till it actually gets a fix. Outside it's like almost instantaneous, so 
and it's gonna get to fix any minute now come on you can do it I use Google Maps quite a few times and uh, it does work fine so it got the fix as you can see it uh, it does work uh, really good this is the multi-touch uh, screen so you can touch the screen in five places in the same time um, I noticed that on this side when typing around this side uh, the letter P it's a bit uh, difficult and doesn't register all the time I'm not sure if it's related to this particular phone or all of them are like that but the letter P it's a bit difficult to to touch like you have to touch like two or three times to actually get to register other than that uh, the screen is very very sensitive the sensor box will show us how many sensors uh, and stuff like that are available so as you can see quite a few sensors and remember this is a very cheap device like I'm quite quite surprised uh, with this device as you can see I'm on uh, 4G so I'm on uh, Rogers basically uh, the LTE works fine pretty much everywhere uh, I got some really good speeds you can check out the description I'm uh, gonna be posting a link with a speed test right there next uh, I'm gonna show you Chrome so you can see how, uh, how well it uh, does I'm just gonna open the globe and mail I'll just open a random article here so you can see how um, how the page renders and stuff so after it uh, loads it goes uh, very very quick you can zoom in zoom out extremely quick like as fast as you can and uh, this phone doesn't slow down at all next I'll uh, quickly start up a video on YouTube so you can see the maximum resolution uh, so I'll play one of my own videos I'll play this one because it's cool so you can actually hear the speaker however that uh, video was in 1080p so So the maximum resolution is going to be 480 for some strange reason instead of 10, uh, 1080p. Next I'm going to make a quick phone call so you can hear how, uh, how it sounds. The proximity sensor works uh, pretty good. The reception I found to be really good everywhere. Everybody heard me quite all right. Next, uh, the camera. The camera is uh, really, really nice. You have a couple of options uh, in here HDR, grid lines, whatever, whatever. You can choose the photo size right here, countdown. Um, we have a few filters uh, here as well. Let me just uh, find the filters so you can choose uh, whatever uh, whatever you want I never use any filter so not uh, that important to me uh, the front facing camera takes uh, really decent pictures so I can see myself so there is quite a bit of uh, detail in uh, these pictures there are a couple of pictures that I was uh, taking with this and you can find the pictures in the video description as you can see the detail it's uh, really really good so I'm really happy with uh, this camera I'm quickly gonna show you the flash on the back here so it is uh, pretty bright as you can see it's a dual tone uh, flash so it's got like a white and yellowish uh, light supposedly it makes the skin look more natural whatever 
So um, I will do a gaming uh, video with this uh, device. It's gonna be separate from uh, this video because I wanna play a few games and it make this uh, video way too long. Uh, however, uh, aside from the operating system, which is a bit strange, like nothing you've ever seen before and uh, it's a bit confusing uh, to be honest. Um, everything seems to work okay. You have the double tap to wake up option if you want it. Uh, this button uh, at the bottom here uh, acts as a back button if you just touch it once or a home button if you touch it all the way. So that, I like that because you don't have uh, to have like buttons on the sides. Um, the privacy app here it's uh, extremely annoying uh, in my opinion asks you for permission for absolutely everything you do so you have a couple of options here done all this Chinese uh, bullshit I would uh, get rid of if uh, possible but uh, there are like no ROMs for this device that I've heard of so we are stuck with this one for, uh, for now so overall for 150 bucks, 160 bucks, uh, even though it's made out of plastic and it does feel a bit cheap, uh, I do recommend this phone if you can go past uh, not having the Gmail installed and other uh, Google services that may not uh, work properly. Thanks for watching and uh, check out the videos in the description uh, for the gaming uh, video and I'll uh, do another one with the Nova Launcher installed on this phone.